2143 is my placing of this commercial breeding guild class. Now I'll start with two. She's a more production focused guild and takes phenotype and genotype to lead the class today. In the ring, she commands my eye. She's a wider constructed, stouter made guild. There's still maternal in her makeup as she wraps with more excep exceptional rib shape and the seal is deeper in her body cavity and yet will better adapt to the environment seen in the de desired scenario as her stout foundation and strong, solid stride will help her be more desirable for confinement in a concrete environment and collectively will help her be more profitable to production. Now, she wasn't the levelest in the class, but she, her, she still excels in her genetic makeup as she's higher performing in loin eye area, cell production index, and her back fat percentage and will pass on and it'll allow her offspring to take a heavy lead in the show ring and she still should produce broody yet maternal replacement females for, for this operation. Now sure, Wynn was the fastest to reach 230, but in the ring she lacks that stout foundation seen in my class winner, so I'll leave her second today. But as we move on down the line into my intermediate pair, one leads in my in, in my remaining trio is not only does she take the advantage in sow production index, but she also has more bulge to her rib and more dimension to her top side. Now, sure, four took the advantage in loin eye area, but this can't comp compensate for the fact that she was more compact in her skeletal composition, being shorter from blade to hip. So I leave her third today. But in my final pair, it's a dividing factor of power, performance, and mass that I use to put four over three. Four is simply a bigger bodied, heavier muscled guilt that takes the advantage in loin eye area and should pass on these market fundamentals to her future offspring. Now, sure, three was a lean guilt, but bottom line, she needs, needs to generate more mass, performance, and power to move on up in the class today as her low performance loin eye area and sow production index coupled with her narrow rib and small frame size will cause her to be less profitable to production as she cannot produce the quality offspring needed for show or replacement females. So I'll leave her last today. Thank you.